Hi, we're going to see the CPU circuit or the processor circuit. So as we see before, this is the CPU, okay? And this is the CPU socket, okay? So the CPU circuit contains one channel or more. So the power for the CPU is provided by these channels. So because we have here three coils, as you see, this is the first coil or inductor. This is the second and this is the third. Means this CPU or this processor has three channels. Okay. And in every channel, we find coil or inductor, capacitor and MOSFETs, as you see. Also here we have coil, capacitors, MOSFETs. Okay, also here we have coil, capacitor, and MOSFETs. So for this processor, it has three channel. Okay, also we find near to the processor some PF capacitor, as you see here, this is PF capacitor. This is a chemical capacitor or polarized capacitor. And this, as you see here, or this one is PF capacitor. Also here we have PF capacitor. Okay. So here, let's assume that we have, this is the CPU. Okay. So this is the CPU. Okay. Or processor. This equal processor. Okay. So the CPU means central processing unit. Okay. So this CPU needs a power in order to be operated. The power is, we call it VCC core. Okay. About 0 0.9 to 1.2 volts. Okay. So this the VCC core is coming from an IC. So we have here the, as you see, this is the IC or the CPU IC that generate this voltage. But in order to generate this voltage, there is many steps. Okay. So as you see, this IC should be powered by VN, about 19 volts. Okay. And then we have some signals like enable okay and also clock okay and of course a ground etc so when this ic is powered up by 19 volt it generates a control signal as you see this is the first control signal and this is the second control signal this first is will go to up gate okay and this will go to the low gate so because we have gate we mean the gate of the mosfet so let's let's assume that this is the mosfet okay this is the mosfet q we have here drain okay this is drain and here we have source this three are source and here we have the gate so this is the first mosfet okay so so we have here some capacitors as you see this is pf capacitors okay all these are pf capacitors so c1 c2 c3 and c4 okay and this is the first mosfet so here we have about 19 volt okay so an anti-volt will go through these capacitors. This is a filtering capacitors and they will go to this MOSFET. So this is the control signal. Okay. So this MOSFET will be connected to another MOSFET. So this is the second MOSFET. Okay. This is the Q2 and this Q1. So here we have drain. Okay. And here we have source and the source will be connected to the ground and over here we have the control signal, the gate, okay? So here we have the gate, the source and the drain. 
also for her source here we have the gate okay and her drain okay and here okay it will be connected to this so the vcc core will be will be generated here but after the generation of upper gate and low gate so here normally we should have like some diodes okay this is just for protection this is a diode d1 here capacitors as you see here here capacitors okay so this is plus and minus plus and minus so this is chemical capacitor and this is pf capacitor and and normally here we should have a coil l1 to generate this vcc core so in order to generate this vcc core as you see we need an ic integrated circuit and we need two mosfets so this is just one channel okay but normally there is another channel this is the channel number one normally we should we have here channel number two and channel number three the same principle okay so we need the ic we need two mosfets or more okay so the first mosfet is connected to 19 volt or to the power source and we have here PF capacitors, you know, this is a filtering capacitors, and this MOSFET will be connected to another MOSFET and the source or the drain in accordance to the state of the second MOSFET will be connected to the ground. Okay, and here between source and drain, it is connected directly to the CPU. Okay, so when this IC receives the clock and the, the enable signal and also other signals id signals here about eight signals one two three four five six seven eight all the signal this is id signals okay this is id all those are id signals okay so when do i see receive id signals enable signal the clock signal and 19 volt signal it will be generated the upper gate and lower gate control signal to mosfets and when this mosfet receive this control signal and also this mosfet the power will pass through this mosfet and then go through this diode and through this chemical capacitor so here we have plus as you see we have here plus and minus and then go through the coil and then generate the vcc coil about as i told you before 0 0.9 to 1.2 volts okay